Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Scripture Reading for the 26th week after Pentecost, Friday. The first reading of the day is from St. Paul's first letter to Timothy, chapter 4, verses 4 through 8 and 16. Timothy, my son, everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, for then it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer. If you put these instructions before the brethren, you will be a good minister of Christ Jesus, nourished on the words of the faith and of the good doctrine which you have followed. Have nothing to do with godless and silly myths. Train yourself in godliness, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Take heed to yourself and to your teaching. Hold to that, for by so doing, you will save both yourself and your hearers. And today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 20, verses 19 through 26. At that time, the scribes and the chief priests tried to lay their hands on Jesus at that very hour, but they feared the people. For they perceived that he had told this parable against them. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be sincere that they might take hold of what he said so as to deliver him up to the authority and jurisdiction of the governor. They asked him, Teacher, we know that you speak and teach rightly and show no partiality, but truly teach the way of God. Is it lawful for us to give tribute to Caesar or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Show me a coin. Whose likeness and his inscription has it? They said Caesar's. He said to them, Then render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were not able, in the presence of the people, to catch him by what he said, but marveling at his answer, they were silent. Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.